MLM TV here. You guys blew up my social media last week because I would let you all know that I was going to interview a jewelry designer and uh, here she is. I had to bring her on the show. So everybody, please welcome Tammy from Tease Jewelry Designs. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Hello, everybody. Oh my Very gosh. First of all, thank you thank so you much. Me. Thank you for having <laughs> me on your show. And my goodness, you look fabulous already. Look at that. All right. You've got the necklace and everything. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And so first thing is please introduce yourself to Hamelam TV viewers, let them know uh, um, who you are and a little bit about Tease Jewelry Designs. Okay, hello Hamelam TV viewers. My name is Tammy Also, um, started a business, an event decorating business mm -hmm. about 10 years ago, which I do part time. Oh, okay. Please drop that social media so that <laughs> our viewers in North Carolina. And that um, business is called A Touch of Class by Tammy. It's on Facebook. It's on Instagram. And so, um, you know, I have that going on the side. Uh, obviously, I love to create. I love to design. And I actually started in college um, with a major in interior design, oh. but changed it um, due to the advice of some elderly people in my family. <laughs> that, um, it was quite the thing to do at that time, which was many, many, many years ago. And so I changed to management science and got my degree in management science. But um, I always had, you know, a, a thing for decorating. Uh -huh. and so I started my own business without any training and started designing things for, you know, de designing events for my church and for my friends. And of course, as I started doing that, um, people started referring me to others and guests would ask who did your decorating I want to do mine and um you know from there I built a clientele oh, okay and so the interior design is that how you segued into uh designing uh the, the jewelry designs some kind of an outlet so these jewelry designs was actually born out of uh needing something to occupy my time oh. when I was at work. And since I've been a thrifter for many, many, many years, and also a, an eBay seller, uh -huh. I had a, quite a few items in the house that, you know, I wasn't, you know, I would just kind of fizzed away from doing eBay. And I had all these things in the house. And I'm like, you know, what am I going to do with all of these things? <laughs> And so an idea just popped in my mind and said, you know, why, why don't I take these and, you know, why don't I try taking some of these items and making jewelry out of them? Um, I think it was one particular item that I, set, I, I had seen and I thought to myself, that would make really nice necklace or that would make really nice earrings. Nice. What if I take that off of this shoe and make the earrings? Now, backtrack a little bit. I, I didn't just stumble upon jewelry making. I used to make jewelry years and years ago before I had kids. Mm -hmm. I, so I learned how to you know, find the, the findings for jewelry. I learned how to use um, the tools for jewelry and I had known how to do that many, many years ago. So, so I already jewelry had, was always kind of your passion. Yes, yeah, so I, I had that un, under my belt. So I was <laughs> completely fresh of how do I do this and how do I do that? I knew how to put pieces together and connect them and manipulate wires and manipulate pieces. So I started my first one and I had said, wow, this really came out nice. You know, mm -hmm. I, I took a pair of heels and I made a necklace, earrings and a bracelet out of one pair of heels. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. And I posted it and I got a lot of compliments out of it. And I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to, you know, use this as a way of taking my mind off things because it put me completely in my element. Mm -hmm. uh, it made me feel good. It made me forget about everything that's going on, um, at least for that moment, you know. Um, and it, it helped you indulge 
your passion as well as the yeah. new venture. That is just, exactly. you know, that is, that's one of the reasons what I wanted to reach out to you because especially with the pandemic, just basically upending everyone, it's nice to see that you were able to generate something that you love, something that you kind of put on the back burner. All of a sudden the pandemic happens and you're able to uh, make this into something that you do. And I have to let the viewers know Full disclosure, I was one of the people that absolutely fell in love with them. And in fact, <laughs> I am actually wearing one of your uh, creations right now. So if you want to just check them out, I love these so much. And I meant to have you go ahead and just drop your social media because what I find is my viewers will watch, they'll pause it, and then they'll look for it. So please drop your social media right now so that they can go ahead and start looking and shopping and buying everything as we're talking. <laughs> okay, so that would mean at T's Jewelry Designs for Instagram. That's T E E Z E Jewelry Designs. <laughs> and I'm on Facebook also. And I also have a website, T's Jewelry Designs.com. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to have that down below as well in the comments. Um, so then, a very popular question that I got was what inspires you? What's the inspiration for, for your pieces, for your jewelry? Well, I mean, uh, what's my inspiration is my environment. Mm -hmm. I'm inspired by what's going on in my life, mm -hmm. my environment, my ethnicity, mm -hmm. and um, just my passion for design, period. Um, so all of those things combined, um, I'm inspired by beauty. I'm inspired by nature. I'm inspired by, you know, I, I get ideas just walking in the park. I get ideas just going to a museum. I get ideas just driving in a car. Anything <laughs> can inspire me. And um, it just comes to me. I believe, and I definitely believe, um, it is a gift from God. That is so beautiful. And what do you make? I mean, that's the main thing. We so always said TZ Jewelry. I have earrings on, your earrings on. You have such a beautiful necklace on. What else do you make? Uh, what's what's encompassed in the, the, the TZ Jewelry? The I mostly make necklaces and earrings to match. Mm -hmm. I don't make too many bracelets, but my, my main theme is necklace and earring sets. So what I have on right now is a necklace that I made. And what I do is when I make my I first, by the way, oh my it's God. unusual enough, I actually make it the beginning of a collection. So when I made this piece, I made it as a collection and I named it Bold and Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this is the bold from the Bold and Beautiful collection mm -hmm. and it, goes all the way from your neckline and goes all the way down to almost your belly button. That is it is a bold look and the the material is also bold. And what I have here are single petals, single silk petals that I have arranged in a layered design to create this with a chain gold um, necklace mm -hmm. closure oh. so it goes all the way down here as you can see love it so that is a statement piece yes and it's meant to be a statement piece and also it's a v-shape and that was very personal for me to make all of the pieces from the bold and beautiful collection mm -hmm. are all made in the same v-shape and the V for me stands for victory. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. And I noticed that you said that it's a you make them as a as a set. So I would be remiss as you, I'm going to show off these beautiful earrings again. But guess what? These this these come with this beautiful beautiful necklace. Another statement piece. <laughs> And I absolutely love this. I have a few others that I wanted to show off, but um, if you wanted to just briefly just tell us about uh, what inspired you to make this 
set that uh, I have and I'm keeping. Thank you. Also, don't even try and put in the comments. Oh, is it? Nope, nope. I already got it. <laughs> <laughs> it is my pleasure. But that piece, um, I actually named that piece, and for some reason, I don't remember what I named it. But okay, we'll put it in the comments. We'll put it in the. It's my, <laughs> that piece. Um, what inspired that piece was I wanted to make. I wanted to create something that from denim fabric that could serve more than one purpose. So I decided to create a piece that could also be a holder, like a little purse, like a pocket holder. So um, this is why I loved it. This is so cool. Okay. Yes. Oh, I called it a pocket on the go. <laughs> yes. a pocket on the go. <laughs> Love it. So it's so corny, but I called it pocket on the go. So you can you that your phone because I made sure that your cell phone can fit, your credit cards can fit, a pen can fit, mm -hmm. and you're on the go. You just get going. You don't need a big old pocketbook or any <laughs> small pocketbook or. Uh, or sh a shoulder strap and pocketbook, you just put that on and you're good to go and have fun. So that's that's what inspired that piece. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I also am very, very fortunate to own another uh, set that uh, you made. I love these. And this is two earrings, guys, but <laughs> this is the necklace. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, you know, I love these, the, the bold color and the bold design. And then if you look at the earrings, oh my goodness, to match. I absolutely love this set. I had to snatch this up right away. So yeah. if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you wouldn't mind just discussing this piece that I have that is mine. So yeah. it's not <laughs> other beautiful pieces for sale, but these ones, unfortunately, <laughs> I got them first. <laughs> <laughs> that one I called green with envy because it, yeah. it is so bold mm -hmm. and you can't miss whoever's wearing it. No, no. Uh, <laughs> so I green. wore it out actually for a quick event, uh, oh. quick socially distanced event, everybody. But okay. everyone was like, wow, oh my gosh. And I was like, <laughs> taste jewelry. <laughs> well, the, the, the bold, the big links uh, make for the ability to either wear them, wear it long or wear it short, which is great. Um, and it's it's full leather. Ah, okay. Full leather. I love it. But it I feels like leather. It's soft. It feels good. And um, it's just bold. It is. It is. You cannot... You walk in, and this is what people are talking about. So yeah. <laughs> I can attest to that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then a final piece, because as I said, I own quite a few because I just love these designs and I love the yeah. versatility. I love the diversity of your collection. And yeah. uh, so I'm going to move on to ta -da, look at this. Now, you know, I love my, my color red. You know, if you guys watch my channel, I, I always have some red or something dangling or anything. Look at how beautiful this is. I absolutely adore this. And if you wouldn't mind, just so you see the set here, if you wouldn't mind just uh, telling us a little bit about this and what, uh, what inspired you to uh, create. That <laughs> one of my fun collections. Mm -hmm. I call it the trio collection. Mm -hmm. So it's three pieces, the two earrings and a necklace. The trio collection consists of two, um, what do you call it? Two tassel earrings, mm -hmm. I mean, a pair of tassel earrings and one fringe necklace. Uh, it's easy to wear. It's easy, easy to put on. 
I have a couple of them here. All yes, right. please do. Please show them. Oh my gosh. Because everyone knows Hamel MTV loves a good fringe. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one. Oh my gosh. And here is another one. Also similar to the one you have. Oh man. How did I miss that one? We're going to have to talk after the interview. <laughs> Now, the one you have, and this one, and maybe three others, mm -hmm. all came from the same finding. Once they're gone, they're gone, because I can't find that finding anymore. It's not something from a store that I can buy or order. Mm -hmm. It is a finding. So, fine. I love that. I love that. I love that. And uh, talking about collections, I also have a collection called the Tube Collection. And this one started and was born from uh, some tubes that I discovered in the hardware store. So every <laughs> once in a while, I'll go to the hardware store and walk the aisles mm -hmm. and see what I can take and use to create a piece of jewelry. And so I found these tubes. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, this looks like fun. <laughs> I, I, I started using the tubes to create these designs. This is a pink one. Mm -hmm. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, it's a pink one. And I can, I can show you right quick what it looks like on. Okay. It looks even better on than it does um, off. <laughs> <laughs> that is oh my that just from walking through the hardware store oh well, there you go that and you and so like that's gonna be a necklace i covered it up with um i covered the tubes up with um with um shimmery a shimmery material then i spray paint mm -hmm. for the color this mm -hmm. one was actually covered with something and i have the little earrings to go and then some of them are shorter and some of them are longer this is more like a choker mm -hmm. some of them are um, lengthier like like this one right here and one of my favorite colors is red yes <laughs> as everyone knows Hamel mtv loves a good red too so uh so, oh my gosh, you have a red version of those. Oh my goodness. So that's a red, but it's a longer necklace, so it comes down longer. And then I have a, a green one that I spray painted and I just covered it with, you know, I adorned it with um, like gems, mm -hmm. gold and green gems that's with so a big chain necklace to go for a statement and so and it goes on and on with my tube collection I so love you would have to come on my page to, to see all the different fun things that i have and as i said the um i'm going to put the links to all of them below and i need you and actually you are having a spectacular sale right now uh oh, on your page. yes i am yes How i am Please let everybody know about it. <laughs> well, the month of November, I have all my items on sale. Some are 10% off, some are 20% off, and some are 50% off. So please come on my page and grab them while you can. Um, it's, it's a one-time sale for the month of November. You know, get something for your aunt, your mom, for yourself, for your friends. Mm -hmm. Lots of people who love one of a kind pieces, and I'm sure your viewers and your followers will find something that they will love. Look at these one of a kind. I just love the I just want to show you one more piece. I oh yes, please, please do, please do. <laughs> I love this piece, and it is um. What? that it's a necklace and i'm gonna put it on because you um so that you can get the full gist 
I already see, I mean, I know that I personally cannot buy every piece, even though I wanted to, but I already see um, there's this uh, huge cherry blossom festival that everybody loves. And uh, so everybody wears some type of floral wear. And I see myself yes. one of those pink tie events wearing that, you know, it could be casual or it could, you could dress it up. I love it. And it's this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yes, I can see it on me actually at my house this is from the garden collection and it comes with these really darling earrings creation is different every creation is different and it's so fun you can wear them with pretty much anything you can dress them up you can dress them down um so so many, so many ways they could be worn and this is not something that's going to sit in your closet. You know? <laughs> no, it's not. There is it not. Is so is it that you're just going around and then just inspiration you'll look and you'll be like, wow, you know what? There's a pair of heels. I can turn them into something different. Or is it that you're like, okay, I feel like I'm going to create this type of thing today. Or it, or it's no, no, what it is for me is the pattern. Mm -hmm. If, if a pattern speaks to me, it doesn't matter if they're heels or they're a pocketbook or if they're a, a metallic piece. Like I found this, um, this um, what was it? I think it was uh, a candle holder uh, at the thrift store. I, and, and I saw these beautiful petals that, you know, there's so many beautiful petals on the candle hold on, they were big and bold. And I'm like, wow, I would do anything to get one of those petals off of there and make a necklace. So I bought the candle holder and it wasn't expensive, brought it home, mm -hmm. cleaned it, sanitized and disinfected it, did all that stuff, you know, let it be nice and clean before I even do, did anything with it, you know, and I came, uh, I came up with, um, it was hard for me to separate the petals from the actual thing because I guess, you know, with, with metal, when they, when they hot, hot, I don't know how they attach metals together, what would you call it? But when, when you attach metals together, mm -hmm. there's a machine that they use for that. Okay. So it, took me, it took me like a month. Oh my gosh. <laughs> twisting and turning and twisting and turning and twisting and turning. I got one off and then went back to it a week later. I twisted and turned and tried the incompleted pieces. But that's one of the necklaces that I haven't finished. Oh but that they're like beautiful metal. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I love that. So that's going to be a set. So it's going to be like earrings and a necklace. So just or it might be this, this three that are complete that are on, on my website already on, on, um, on my Instagram page. These haven't been completed yet because there are things I want to do to them that I haven't figured out how I'm going to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And so I like to sleep on it. And, and when it comes to me is when I finish it. So um, there's three of them on on the Instagram page now. They are very, very nice. They're pretty, pretty. pretty. And you need to hurry and go because those things go like that. And they make great gifts. So they do. yes. Holidays already. You know somebody that would love it. You know, it's time for you to grab it for that special person, mm -hmm. your mom, your aunt, your friend and yourself and you won't run into somebody else that has no you won't that's, that's, he's that's a one of a kind <laughs> one of a kind <laughs> i love yeah, it a one of a kind piece one that of. like you said you will never run into anybody with that exact necklace earring any of my pieces yep no one else is gonna have this okay no. sorry mine all mine <laughs> <laughs> i love it i love it and so i actually got a question here from one of our viewers oh. and um 
They said, do you do custom designs for people? Can they send in things for you to turn into jewelry? Um, custom designs, yes. I take custom orders. Mm -hmm. And I take the custom orders off of something that I have already designed. Mm -hmm. For instance, if I have taken custom orders from um, people who have liked um one of the wire necklace sets that I have on and the person said, well, can you make that for me in, in green? Uh -huh. And I said, absolutely. And, you know, I went and got the, uh, because it's wire, it's <laughs> jewelry wire, that's something you can buy and order. And so, yeah, um, things like that, I will, you know, custom create a custom design if you want it smaller, if you want it bigger, if it's a piece, um, if, if it's a piece that I have extra material to make, mm -hmm. I'll make it. If you have your own material, for instance, those trio sets that I have with a, with a um, fringe necklace and the tassel earrings, if you have, now all of them are uh, mostly faux leather. Now, if you had your own leather and you, decided I would like a set like that mm -hmm. would you make that for me absolutely mm -hmm. you would send in your 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 fabric and I would be more than glad to create that for you wonderful wonderful and if they wanted to place an order like that um, is there an email address or would they just dm you it's a dm thing <laughs> yes, I'm constantly on instagram <laughs> dm me if you have any questions mm -hmm. um about about anything you see on on the page if you have questions about the sizes or the measurements please feel free to to dm me and ask me because those are not um always on the description so or any questions about what what you know what kind of of hardware am i using you know what's the earring made of is it is it sterling silver or is it you know, nickel free. Um, please feel free to to ask me all of those questions. I am more than happy to answer any and every one of them. Well, thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate you taking the time because, as I said, uh, I I posted it and people just went absolutely wild and so I had to reach out to you right away and I really appreciate you granting me the time because you know designers are busy they're making pieces but they for you to take the time to chat with us we really really appreciate it and Pamela MTV viewers let's show our appreciation by going onto her site and buying everything I mean if you get there before me of course <laughs> Um, yes, please. And I appreciate your time. I appreciate you having me on your platform. I appreciate you putting me out there to your viewers and please, like she says, you know, you're welcome. We're, we're having sales right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you come after the sales, after, after November 30th, please mention that you saw me through um, MTV. MTV and you will <laughs> automatically get a 10% off. Oh, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. I really, really thank appreciate you. that. And I you. need you all to do all of that. And so if you wouldn't mind just once again, giving everyone your social media and, uh, and that because, oh my gosh, I am just looking at what you're wearing right now. I mean, I, I'm ready to snap that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on Instagram, I am at T's Jewelry Designs, that's T-E-E-Z-E -E -E, Jewelry Designs. Um, on Facebook, also T's Jewelry Designs. And my website is T'sJewelryDesigns.com. Wonderful, so, wonderful. And as I said, I'm going to put these in the description. Thank you all so much, Tammy. I am real thank I'm always honored. I really appreciate it. This was so fun to just see how, go behind the lens and see how you create them and see what you're working on. Yes, really, thank really, you. Really thank you so much. And uh, have a spectacular day. And have a lamb TV viewers, you know what to do. Go.